production. So this is my first time, I guess, admining uh, behind the scenes and stuff. So here we go. We are seeing Yaz's Ike going against Team Liquid's very own Hungry Box. Go! Let's get started, Yaz. Yaz, this is super scary. You, you want to camp, but then again, you also just want to uh, want to go in and use those dish lines. Use this nair and up air. Okay, use the nairs and the up airs just to put HBox at a comfortable percent where you're going to be able to kill. Easily. Yeah, we're, oh, we're sadly not seeing H-Box uh, get too much damage, though they are looking to start a combo of their own right here. Again, they just gotta wait things out. Things look kinda scary, but we're seeing H-Box get to work right here, and that's what we'd love to see, is H-Box trying to reciprocate that pressure, reciprocate that damage. And he's doing an excellent job of it with these down airs. Mm -hmm. Speaking of down airs, uh, I'm curious to see if Ike can put out any down airs on ledge. To uh, kind of catch hunger boxes, floaty, uh, floaty jumps near ledge, because most most of the time it can be hard to snap sometimes with uh, with Junior Puff's uh, jump. But that episode is gonna be able to take stock one. Oh, uh -oh H box! Right. I believe. I believe. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Yo. Oh, poor Yes. That was not the way to go out for your first stock, but they're gonna have to live with their mistakes. And HBox probably is so happy on his stream right now, I've gotta say. I mean, hey, we take those. Oh, absolutely. If anybody if anybody knows about we take those, it's a hungry box. <laughs> absolutely. He's been around that thing for decades at this point. He's, he literally is like the epitome of that phrase. Like that is just, he has probably been around since that phrase has come out. So I don't know, man. He, he's definitely one to take those. And taking those, he will. Looking, oh, look at kind of shit. He's taking, he's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, he's taking all the damage right now. Oh, and that's going to be a dash attack to take the second stock. Where's that cancel suit when you need it, man? Where's Bomb? Where's Bomb? Yeah. 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 Oh, another tech! <laughs> that could have been so scary for HBox if he got uh, clipped by the downward hitbox of so Ike's up B. Oh, yo, HBox trying to go for that dash attack right now. Oh, but yes, just still, seriously, such, such, oh, such no, go to the play. Play. That's, that's gonna be oh, game one for sure. You hate to see it. HBox died of a B from me. That is so unfortunate. That's crazy. Man, and I... even then, I don't think I. Mm, if the, even if the drill rest had hit, I don't think Hbox could have been able to uh, live against an Ike's F smash at 60, especially yeah. with the um. Oh god, with the uh, with the stage positioning that was in play. Yeah, it, I mean it's just Jigglypuff is such a light character. Like you miss that and. If you're at like a certain percentage, it's just kind of over, you know, there's not really any coming back from that. Unless you get really lucky or, you know, they totally beef on the on the punishment, you're you're not going to live. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, oh, shout out to Yaz winning game one versus HBox. That's that's a monument. That's a monumental task. And now HBox does have to bring out Clutchbox. Yeah, I, I believe in the Clutchbox. I'm going to put it in the chat. We got to see it happen. I want to see the clutch box happen, man. I would be so happy. <laughs> oh man, do you game ever? Two. Um, I'm I'm very curious to see where we're going for game two. We're gonna see how it goes. I am looking uh, over at the moderation side of things, so they are looking to, you know, ban the stages. We're gonna see what they go with. So. So far, no stages have been banned quite yet. I think they are just talking things out, taking a bit of a, taking a bit of a break, you know, getting the sweat off their hands, you know, making sure that they're ready to go. So, we're gonna see what the move is. So, HBox is now the one that is gonna strike some stages of their own. Let's see where we go from there. Yep, Town and Kalos both bands does not want to deal with either uh, either platformed long stage gonna be able to work with um he did win did win game one 
on Final Destination, so that's just... It's something you've got to deal with, but does not want to give HBox the satisfaction of having platforms to land on around the around the ledge to uh, trick up Yez's uh, ledge pressure that they've been putting on. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're going to have to see HBox get a little bit more aggressive, I feel. I know it's such a tough thing to do against Yez's Ike, but... I don't know. I, I feel like he's going to go for a bit more than just those down airs. I want to, you know, we got to see him, you know, he's going to take some damage, but, you know, I feel like he was a little bit too afraid to die right there. And then toward the end, he just kind of, you know, went for that rest out of nowhere. And sadly, he wasn't able to get a kill. But Maybe some more grab stuff. I don't know. Yeah, that too. I think that could work. It's just tough. I cast that range, man. Not, not an easy task, I've got to say. Alright, looks like we're going to be going to Smashville for game two. Same characters. Unless HBox some, for some reason brings out a... Brings out... Possibly a secondary. I don't know. I don't know if HBox plays any other character in Ultimate. Yeah, so let's see how this goes. It looks like they are the stage. I'm just kind of looking at Hungrybox's screen to see what's up. They're just kind of talking to chat right now, but we are seeing them get ready to go. I don't know. Let's see if the let's see how the clutch box does. I believe. I believe. Do you believe, DZ? I mean, it's entirely possible. I believe that HBox can do this, but it's gonna be a little bit harder now that he's lost game one. We gotta do it two, twice in a row. One, go. And Yez also uh, getting a not a not a quick game one, but a very very commanding game one in, in retrospect here. So we're gonna see how this plays out right now. It definitely does seem that Yez is just again putting on so much pressure against Hbox. We're seeing Hbox go for that down throw. Definitely some good stuff. They were able to catch their opponent more with some grabs like we were talking about earlier. Oh, that's so scary. Ike just fading out there, possibly with the attack air, looking for it. Yeah, so far, I mean, there we go. That's what we want to see from h right here. Oh, oh what that aggression. No. Oh, but the sing! That's not going to land right there. Yes, yeah, just totally punishing right there. But we are seeing so much offstage pressure from H-Box. Fox is going to be staying on the stage right there as Yez manages to stay in. Oh, oh no! no! I hate to see it. It's not going to kill. It's not going to kill, but it's going to put a lot of damage. Oh no. Not like this. Oh, I wanted to believe. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. H Box. Oh, okay. I got, I got excited. Yo, the up tilt gives some easy damage right there. The sing again. Oh, oh, oh the shield! Survive? So lucky! So lucky for HBox just barely staying in right there, trying to get an easy kill right here, looking for any opportunity. But yeah, this is just such a fiend right now. He's facing out very, very well against HBox. HBox throwing out F smashes? You don't want to see that, especially in these high pressure situations where HBox really has to take a stock to oh! keep in this game. Gonna be going down two stock, or down two stocks here. Oh no. That could have been. Ace Box, please! Okay. <laughs> Scary, bro. Man, giving me a heart attack out here. There okay. We go. There we go. All right, Ace Box not taking that much percentage, so. Sort of I mean, Dugo Gimp as well from uh, from Mike. Not going to be able to drift back in after hitting Ace Box so far off stage to get the uppie. Uh oh. Nair to back air. Another up air. Oh my. Yes! Yes, relax! <laughs> Yes does not want to relax right now. He wants to take every opportunity that he can to just put damage on HBox. Yes, just in here swinging right now. Oh! HBox with the forward throw. This is this is an ideal oh, spot downer. for him. Oh my gift. God! HBox. HBox with the downer. So deep off the stage. He is at 69% right here, looking to get some damage right in there. The side special doing lots of damage. That power. This is possible for HBox to bring this back. Oh, this is extremely possible now. Going down two stocks, but bringing it, clawing it back. <laughs> no! Far. 
Oh. Hbox, please! You can do this! Oh my god! Down there, oh, he's getting caught by the ether! No! no. no. Hbox <laughs> going down to Yez. Honestly, super, super good showing from Yez. But, Ike, Ike's got some strong moves, like I said. And like I also said, Jigglypuff does not like getting hit by that many strong moves in a match. Oh man, that was that was really sad, you know. I, I, I don't know. It was just a really tough matchup, I believe, for Hbox. And it was just so hard to stay in right here. I know oh, man, just it's so unfortunate to see it end that way, especially with that first game, you know. It just looked so I don't know. So it's doable. Just, it, yeah, yeah, that second game that second game looked possible. You know, they were still at a disadvantage, so understandable, but there were just seriously some critical mistakes from Hbox that we saw, you know, miss, missing the rest, missing the missing the sing, you know, in game two. It was just, oh, it was just, I feel like Hbox uh, wanted to